Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a Diophantine equation from a book called A Primer for Mathematics Competitions. Now, it's a really nice book uh, full of beautiful problems, and this is just one of them. This is a linear Diophantine equation, which means we're going to be solving for integer values, particularly in this case for positive integers. A and B are positive integers, and we're given a single equation, which is a beautiful way to approach these kinds of problems. So this problem actually came from a word problem, but I just wanted to give you the resulting equation. So we have 7a plus 13b equals 1000, and a and b are positive integers. And we're going to try to find their values. And I'll be presenting two methods, at least. The first one is going to be kind of trying to break it down. And the second method, we're going to use something cooler. Hopefully you like that. But let's start with the first method. For my first method, I'm going to go ahead and isolate A. So let's subtract 13B from both sides. And then divide both sides by 7. So from here, A equals 1000 minus 13B divided by 7. Obviously, this doesn't help unless we break it down. And how do you break it down? First of all, notice that 1000 is not divisible by 7. Which number is divisible by 7? You can find it by dividing 1000 by 7 and looking at the remainder. 7 goes into 10 once, and this is going to give you a 7. 330, 4 times 7 is 28. Bring down the 0, and this is 2 times, and you get a remainder of 6. Which means 1000 minus 6 is divisible by 7, which is 994. Right? And that is 142 times 7. So, what does that mean? It means you can kind of break this down into 994 plus 6 minus 13b divided by 7. Now, we made this divisible by 7. Great. But is that the only thing you can make divisible by 7? No. There's another piece that you can make divisible by 7, which is this one. It's negative 13. So we can kind of separate a negative 7b, so write it like this, 994 minus 7b, and the remaining piece will be 6 minus 6b, because negative 7 plus negative 6 is negative 13, and the whole thing is divided by 7. Now, we're ready, ready to split it up, because this part is divisible by 7. Let's go ahead and split it up first, and then I'm going to show you what we do next. So we can kind of write it like this, right? And then, now, we're going to go ahead and factor out a 7 here. Since 994 is 7 times 142, you know that, right, from the division. So it's going to be 142 minus B. Easy. And the 7s are going to cancel out, leaving us with something integer. Remember, A and B are positive integers. Therefore, 142 minus B is an integer. A is an integer, so the remaining piece also needs to be an integer. But how do you... Write that remaining piece, again, using our divisibility by 7 trick. We can kind of write this as 7 minus 1 minus 6b divided by 7. So we can write it as follows. This is going to be 142 minus b plus 7 divided by 7 is going to be 1, which kind of adds one more to this. And then the rest is just going to be written uh, as, you know, divisible by something. And here's what we can do. I think we can go ahead and subtract. Let me see. That, that brings up plus 1 and then minus 1 over 7 minus 6 over 7b. Okay. Now, we can go ahead and also change this part uh, to make it work a little bit nicer. Uh, so, let me see, 6 minus 6p over 7. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave this part. I think I'm going to leave this part alone. Let's go ahead and do that. So why not just leave it like this? This is probably going to be better that way. Anyways, okay. Now, this is my A, right? So let's go ahead and call these pieces something. For example, this part we can call... C, okay? 
And this part we can call D. Yeah? And remember, C is an integer, A is an integer, so D is also an integer. What is that supposed to mean? It just means that 6 minus 6B over 7 is an integer, like D. What is that supposed to mean? So I can probably do this. I can kind of make this as 7 minus 1 minus 7B plus B divided by 7. Great. Now we're going to have more pieces that is divisible by 7. So it's going to be like 1 minus B plus B minus 1 over 7 equals D. Okay. Now, this needs to be an integer as well, right? Great. So, in other words, this is an integer, d is an integer, and then we were able to write d a little differently, like this, and now this needs to be an integer. If you want, you can call it e, and now b minus 1 over 7 is an integer, which means b minus 1 is divisible by 7, right? What is that supposed to mean? It means b minus 1 can be written as 7e, or we could probably call this k. k makes more sense in this case. And then from here, we get b equals 7k plus 1. This is the best part, because you know what? We can go ahead and find, uh, start finding some values for b, such as if k is equal to 0, b is equal to 1. If k is equal to 1, b is equal to 8, so on and so forth, right? These are going to give you some values that are helpful. How? For example, if b is equal to 1, then D is going to be 0, and, you know, you're just going to continue finding the ABC values, such as, let's go ahead and take a look. What was the original problem? Okay, 7A, let's not forget that, plus 13B equals 1,000. Now, if we, and remember, uh, by finding the B value, we're finding the A value, but if you want, you can just keep plugging it in, because if, for example, if B is equal to 1, then D is going to be 0, and A is going to be 142 minus B. So in this case, uh, A is going to be 142 minus B. And since K is equal to 0, let me see. What is K, by the way? Uh, I think this is K. Yeah, this is what I called K. If B is equal to 1, K is equal to 0. And... D is equal to 1 minus B. Okay. If B is equal to 1, then D is equal to 0. I'm, I don't know where I'm getting with this. If D is equal to 0, yeah, A equals 142 minus B. And if B is equal to 1, then A is going to be 141, right? That should work. Okay. Now, and you can just continue. Uh, with the B equals 8, you can just plug it in and find a different value, so on and so forth. Well, you could probably just directly... Use this expression, it's probably going to be a little better. Where did I write that equation? I just lost it. Okay, here we go. 7a plus 13b is equal to 1,000. So if b is equal to 1, from here you can subtract 13 from 1,000. And if you do that, you're going to get 987. And then divide that by 7, and you should get the value of a. For example, let's do that. I think uh, this goes into, let me do it here. One time... 28, 4, and then 1. Okay, 141. And I was right, actually, when I said that. So if A is equal to 141 and B is equal to 1, then we got a solution, okay? And you can continue in the same manner, keep finding all the other solutions. But I have a cooler way that I think you're going to like it, and let's go ahead and take a look at it, okay? The unfortunate, uh, unfortunately, the second method is not always going to work nicely, but in most cases, it does. Okay, and that is when we use modular arithmetic, okay? So, here's how it goes. We're going to find a good mod that will make something disappear, or at least make it easier. For example, I could possibly use mod 6 here, right? Mod 6, 7 is equivalent to 1. As you know, mod deals with remainders. So, if you divide 7 by 6, you're going to get 1. It's going to be 1a, and 13 is actually... 1 more than a multiple of b, which is, again, another 1. But you have to make an equivalence symbol here. Uh, so in other words, we can write this as a plus b is equivalent to. What is 1,000 mod 6? That's a good question. And again, we can find it by division. Uh, it's going to go 1 time. 40 is going to go 6 times. 
and then 40 is gonna go six times again, and the remainder will be four again. So it's four mod six. Great, what is that supposed to mean? It just means that a plus b is supposed to be four mod six, which is not very helpful, is it? So here's a better approach. If you use mod seven, this is gonna become zero, and this is actually gonna be either a six or a negative one. And negative one is actually a good one because you can write it as negative b, is equivalent to mod seven, you probably remember uh, 1,000 is equivalent to six, right? So this is mod seven, again. And if you multiply both sides by negative one, you get b equals negative six mod seven, which means b is equivalent to one mod seven. Beautiful, because this basically gives you the smallest value of b. Remember, b is supposed to be, uh, what's it called? A positive integer. So from here, we can write b as 7k plus one. Numbers that leave a remainder of one when divided by seven. This is really cool, you know why? Because you can take this into the original problem and plug it in, let's do it, it's gonna be fun. So replace B with 7K plus one, this is gonna be 1000, and then from here, you're gonna get 7A plus 91K plus 13 equals 1000, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna isolate A completely. So we're gonna subtract uh, 13 from this number, 987 minus 91K. And guess what? All of these numbers are divisible by seven. So A from here, hmm, let's think about it. I think 140 times seven, no, that's not right. Anyways, let me just divide. I just couldn't figure it out. Seven goes into 987 how many times? I should have known this though, because anyways, I'll do it. It's probably 141 or something like that. Yeah, it's 141, exactly. So it's 141 minus 13K, because if you divide 91 by seven, you get 13. So this is the value of A. And remember, B is equal to 7K plus one. So in other words, if K is an integer, it shouldn't be too large because you don't wanna uh, make A less than zero, this is gonna give you all the solutions. And now let's go ahead and check. I don't know if I asked this question. Yes, I did to Wolfram Alpha and see what Wolfram Alpha provides in comparison to our solution. Okay, ready? Ta-da-da-da, here's what Wolfram Alpha offers as a solution, slightly different, but at the end, it's the same idea. And it's Wolfram Alpha. Well, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll, I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care. Don't forget to check out CyberMath and A plus BI, and bye-bye.